Hello friends, welcome to N Universe Double Two. In this video, we have learned what is evaporative cooling and limitation of evaporative cooling. So let's start. When water evaporates into surrounding air, it produces a cooling effect because evaporation is an endothermic process. What is endothermic? It is a process or reaction. in which system absorb energy from its surrounding usually but not always in form of heat and the opposite of an endothermic process is an exothermic process and one that releases gives out energy in the form of heat usually but not always so this is the principle behind the cooling of water stored in earth and vessels and this is also the principle behind the cooling of human bodies on a hot day and that's how what is how we lose the heat on a hot day now the limitation of evaporative cooling evaporative cooling is very effective when surrounding air is dry if the surrounding air is very humid then evaporation cannot be effective so that is the region evaporative cooling works very well in dry area such as desert but it, it does not work well in coastal regions so india has coastline of about 7517 km comprises of state gujarat maharashtra karnataka kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha west bengal these all all the coastal regions or coastal areas in india so in this video we have learned what is the evaporative cooling and uh, the limitation of the evaporative cooling if you like this video share with your friends and students thanks for watching have a nice day